Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Inside Movies Galore. It's been a while since I've done a standalone review on a film called Frogs, which I know is kind of backwards, but uh, it was directed by George McGowan. And uh, I know just recently I went on with the group about it, but uh, I wanted to get a standalone review uh, from my thoughts. And uh, this was a film directed in 19... 72 uh, by, uh, uh, like I said, uh, uh, George McGowan. And he was known for a lot of productions with the uh, TV, um, some sequels that didn't exactly garner any favor to, uh, uh, review wise. Like um, he did uh, the Over the Hill ga uh, Gang uh, sequel. Um, he uh, directed the uh, Magnificent Seven rides uh, uh, rides again in 1972 and uh, various TV productions, but um, uh, we have uh, a family a, a, a patriarch uh, by, uh, by the name of the Crockets, and uh, the head of this patriarch uh, is played by Ray Milland. And uh, it, if you know anything about him, he uh, he uh, has some. Uh, starring roles in such films as The Uninvited, where he played a ghost hunter, um, uh, which I have from the Criterion Collection, and uh, also uh, Fritz Lang's uh, Ministry of Fear, uh, and uh, so on and so forth. But uh, he's uh, he's an actor that uh, that's from England that has been very well known. He's been around since uh, the 30s, and uh, he, he uh, had a contract with Paramount for many years up until like 1943 or so, and uh, so on and so forth. But um, the reason why I remember Frogs is uh, uh, because it stars like Sam Elliott um, when he was like fairly, fairly young. And uh, uh, you almost don't recognize him except maybe in his voice somewhat because eventually he. Uh, uh, became well known for uh, some very cool westerns down, uh, down the road, as well as uh, being the uh, um, ghost writer that was uh, giving Nicolas Cage the role in a Marvel, I believe it was Marvel Comics uh, uh, Ghost Rider series. So it was definitely. It was definitely interesting to see him so young, but in any case, uh, Sam Elliott, he um, he plays this photographer, and uh, there are some really cool shots uh, that uh, I think that were of nature and, what, and whatnot that uh, he was trying to uh, uh, take in a canoe, at least his character, which he plays a character called Pickett Smith, uh, where his canoe gets rammed in by uh, young Clint, uh, Clint Rocket, which uh, most of the young people that uh, that uh, played as actors in here, they had the, uh, those <laughs> those uh, Brady Bunch looking kind of you know haircuts, uh, and uh, well, him and his sister. Um, Clint uh, and uh, I believe Joan, Joan Von Ark and Adam Rourke are the uh, two characters that played the brother and sister that he uh, that had rammed into his canoe, basically upsetting his, you know, journey. So uh, ultimately, they bring him to an island, which apparently, um, where this Crockett family lives now. Apparently, they've done something to the ecosystem for many, many years, and they own a factory of sorts. Uh, in fact, they were talking about some paper mills or what, uh, whatnot while while uh, uh, we were learning some of the backstory. Uh, and uh, there was definitely a butler and uh, his family uh, on the on the island, so they're all here uh, to celebrate uh, the birthday. Uh, celebrations of this patriarch uh, by the name of Jason Crockett, and evidently four of them have birthdays around the same time, and uh, so uh, they were trying to celebrate that 
you know, um, that big thing. And uh, he's relatively older. He's like in his seventies or eighties. Uh, could it uh, could be uh, it could be later, but he he comes off as this like rich, uh, 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 rich man. So, but um, there's definitely elements of uh, of uh, fr uh, frogs that uh, that you see uh, see, um, and uh, they definitely portray the fr uh, 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 frogs to be many in here. So uh, so. Um, as the film progresses, you see a bunch of them hopping up against the windows and whatnot. Um, a, a lot of people think that this film is a bad film be, uh, because none of the deaths could actually happen. But uh, I will, I will remember the uh, the part, uh, the one part where the one son he goes off. Um, actually, I will remember three, uh, three or four deaths in here, uh, so, uh, which are actually kind of cool. Um, the one where, uh, where the one son goes off and he goes in, uh, um, he ends up under this tree that has this moss hanging down and, uh, the moss holds these tarantulas and they just kind of cover him and wrap him around, uh, around and suffocate him to death. And, uh, ultimately he dies. Well, uh, th uh there's another, um, character, I think, um, He's an offshoot uh, son of the uh, Crockett family. Well, he ultimately gets, uh, he goes into the greenhouse and there are all these geckos in there, uh, 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 there and these giant lizard-like uh, looking uh, things that walk in there. And um, he's looking for a specific plant and it, he basically it, it gets poisoned because these geckos knock this these jars of poison over and the fumes just kind of suck into his body and it's like oh my god but um then of course there's uh, <laughs> there's uh uh the sister of jason i believe and her name is iris uh who was played by hollis irving and uh she uh, goes off in search of this butterfly, which ultimately leads her into the swamp, and she um, ends up getting chased down and falls into the, the uh, this leech-infested swamp, and then right afterwards, she it gets bitten by a snake. And <laughs> the funny thing is that her body goes into some kind of rigor mortis type, uh, uh, you know, reaction right away and it seems like she's dead so uh, sooner than you think <laughs> and then uh, shortly uh, off the way the, the, the young man's father who was looking for um the young man who went into the greenhouse well he ultimately gets ripped apart by uh an alligator uh, and he was just nearby where iris was so there uh, there were definitely uh, i mean Come on, uh, th there's a part where uh, Clint's wife, um, Clint is uh, 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 obviously trying to have a relationship with the African-American uh, uh, young woman who um, she's actually like she's more talkative th uh, than I, I would assume that a person of color would, uh, would actually have at this point in time in the 70s. Um, so it's not that I'm trying to be racial or anything like that, but uh, uh, it was just kind of surprising how um, f uh, f uh, how um, shall I say how outgoing the character um, for Bella Garrington, who, uh, who was evidently there on the island to um, uh, to visit the uh, the butler and his family so in any case uh i ultimately lo uh, uh, love this uh, film there's definitely a lot of you know uh nature against hu uh, humanity uh, what, uh, what uh, i mean nature just got kind of got fed up and uh, just started fighting back and uh, but you know 
as we realized, some of that got caught up. You know, there was a message underlying there, there that nature just got it, got kind of fed up. But I think they kind of, you know, misconstrued the message along the way. But it was definitely a lot of fun and entertaining. And um, I think that this is a film that everyone should see if they have not because it's just so out there and weird and even though the deaths could never happen entirely um there was definitely uh, uh, definitely a lot of traits that are liked about it so uh, i mean yeah it was somewhat slow but uh, but it was a it was a fun film and you should take it as such and enjoy the ride in any case that's my review of th this film if you don't like it that's too bad i'm gonna tell you about it anyways in any case hopefully you have a good afternoon like share and subscribe and uh, look for forward to uh, this next week where we talk ab uh, about silence of the lambs uh and uh uh, we look back on some of the films that uh, we have um, enjoyed uh, or liked that uh, that uh, we've talked about on the show. So in any case, um, definitely uh, check this review out if you like. And uh, I will look forward to giving more reviews out there. So um, I enjoy talking about films 24-7. So... My name is David Streggy. I'm a uh, I run Movies Galore in Milwaukee as well as Inside Movies Galore, and I am a small uh, uh, time producer, and I just love talking about films. So definitely check the rest of our reviews out, and uh, hopefully you've enjoyed the, uh, me talking about this film. In any case, enjoy the rest of your evening, day, or whatever you're enjoying, and uh, hopefully. I will be uh, back on to talk about more films. So uh, thank you for your time.